Um, I had a great last day. I remembered to deauthorize my computer from iTunes, which a lot of times you don't remember to do. I got a big old diamond ring. Um, I talked to a big time reporter about how Mitt Romney is embracing for profit colleges, which he is, and he's nuts. Um, but best of all, I got to meet with a group of students, and in fact, one of the reasons I, I, I decided to, wh which day this week was going to be my last day, was because they uh, called and said, would you meet with students from Hope College in Michigan, a college where we have a lot of connections, and um, they come every year, and it's great, it's a conservative college, it's great to, uh, to be able to meet with students on my last day. Somebody did ask me today, when or how did you know that you should and I said, I can pinpoint that exactly. I decided to leave CAP when they hired a younger person who had the exact same first and last name as me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they'd send me a message. This guy is David Halperin, same spelling. He's an expert in Israeli, uh, Middle Eastern policy. <laughs> so I'm getting phone calls. I'm getting emails. <laughs> What about your article about Israel? Um, <laughs> well, you get them too. I, know. Um, I got invitations to security briefings at the Israeli embassy, which, by the way, are excellent. <laughs> and I did not, I did not come here looking for a job. I had a job working as a consultant at a bunch of clients. Um, John and Sarah said, "Will you come talk with us about building?" a youth program. They had some influence behind that. People really thought that might be a good idea. Um, so I came in, worked with a young guy, we wrote a report, and um, then uh, they asked me, John Sarah asked me to come and have a meeting to talk about, you know, next steps. What should we do with this report? I did not include myself in the report. Again, I was looking for a job. And John was a brilliant guy. <laughs> John kind of moves in mysterious ways. He's a little cryptic. People around here read him like, oh, what did John mean? <laughs> John, said, John said this, but we don't know what he meant. We don't know what he meant. I also have a little trouble hearing John say <laughs> My hearing, not so good anymore. Um, he's telling me if I'm wrong. John turned to me in this meeting and he said to me, What do you, A. Alphonse, want to do? Does that sound right? So, I didn't know what that meant. I thought maybe, I tried to spin it positively that John maybe thought, I was mistaken, thought I was Italian and that might help me. I don't know what it meant. But, I do know that I started work on building this project. That's what they asked me to do. Okay. okay. I tried. I'm a failure. So, they asked me, would you... people here are under 30, generally speaking, that's why I'm just here. That's why God invented the internet. Okay. <laughs> um, they asked me if I would stay and build this project. And I was doing a bunch of other things. I stayed and built the project. And then I really wanted to work here. I begged to work here. And the reason why? Because of young people. I met a lot of young people. And they were amazing. And they were progressive. And they were smart. And I thought, this is the way that I can make contribution to trying to change this country positively to work, try to give young people just a little bit more of a chance to get their voices heard. If we can raise some money, if we can leverage their energy and their ideas, we could do something. And to some extent, we did that. We, there's two things we tried to do. Bring positive change and get more young people from different backgrounds into the progressive group. <coughs> and on the first point, we work with a lot of great allies. A lot of them are here. I appreciate that. And we actually got some things done, including things that people told us could never get done because special interests would or have been blocking it for years and would keep on blocking it. So that feels good. But what feels even better is how many times people said to me or to somebody on our staff, it was because of a Campus Progress event or a Campus Progress article or a Campus Progress grant that I realized that I could have a career in change, in social change, in journalism, in activism. I didn't know that. Not everybody is privileged. Not everybody gets that that's something that can happen in your life. And some people, a few people learned that through the fact that we did this, and that to me is the best thing of all. Um, and so, really, all I really, all this is really leading to is two words, which is thank you. 
Thank you to the people here who are our partners working on things, who are generous, we were new, you were new, um, everybody's trying to establish their organization, people are, you know, have, people are busy, people who gave their time, uh, people from other organizations, the people who advise us, which ju have just been incredible. And you know who you are here, and I'm so glad that you're here. Um, second is CAP, people at CAP, John and Nira, and all of you, um, just have been so generous with your time and advice and support. Um, and meanwhile, you had a side project, which is building the rest of this, <laughs> which is just unbelievable and so impressive and so important to, to the country. Then there's all the young people whom we work with, and a lot of them now are either stars, or they're not stars, but they're people who are working every day to do something really important for their communities. And that's really, really great too. And then last, um, and uh, you know, not least, are the, are the people, the 55 or so people who worked on our staff, and about 150 people who are our interns. Um, I would like to say that I'm proud of them, but I won't because I'm afraid I'd cry more than Newt Gingrich um, <laughs> if I say that. So you know it's true, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> um, but just all the amazing work that you did, I know sometimes I act a little like Michael Scott, and you indulge that, and I appreciate it. All the good humor you brought to it, um, and, all, and all the idealism that you never lost. Um, Who's Dwight? <laughs> <laughs> there are a few candidates for Dwight. And we'll, um, I have to think that over. But we had various people volunteer to be there. And there's video. You can look it up. Campus Progress Law Office is a little two-part video, which is pretty good. <laughs> um, so, to all those people, thank you. I was just the tiniest part of this. The biggest contribution I made was picking the people who picked the partners, who picked the projects, who got things done. And I have been incredibly lucky to have the job and to be here. And um, I, I just thank you all so much. And I uh, hopefully we'll have a chance to catch up more with you. So please don't leave. If you, if you, if you, please bug me and say goodbye before you go. Um, but I'm not leaving town. I'm going to be working on a lot of the same issues, untethered from the bureaucracy. Maybe I can uh, speak out a little bit more on some of these things. <laughs> but I, I just I thank you so much. For that.